We're in a lot of trouble. So, a rich little man with white hair died. What has that got to do with the price of rice, right? And why is that woe to us? Because you people and 62 million other Americans are listening to me right now. Because less than 3% of you people read books. Because less than 15% of you read newspapers. Because the only truth you know is what you get over this tube. Right now, there is a whole, an entire generation that never knew anything that didn't come out of this tube. This tube is the gospel, the ultimate revelation. This tube can make or break presidents, popes, prime ministers. This tube is the most awesome goddamn force in the whole godless world. And woe is us if it ever falls into the hands of the wrong people. And that's why woe is us that Edward George Ruddy died. Because this company is now in the hands of CCA, the Communication Corporation of America. There's a new chairman of the board, a man called Frank Hackett, sitting in Mr. Ruddy's office on the 20th floor. And when the 12th largest company in the world controls the most awesome goddamn propaganda force in the whole godless world, who knows what shit will be peddled for truth on this network. So you listen to me. Listen to me. Television is not the truth. Television is a goddamn amusement park. Television is a circus, a carnival, a traveling troupe of acrobats, storytellers, dancers, singers, jugglers, sideshow freaks, lion tamers, and football players. We're in the boredom killing business. So if you want the truth, go to God. Go to your gurus. Go to yourselves. Because that's the only place you're ever going to find any real truth. Man, you're never going to get any truth from us. We'll tell you anything you want to hear. We lie like hell. We'll tell you that uh, Kojak always gets the killer and that nobody ever gets cancer in Archie Bunker's house. And no matter how much trouble the hero is in, don't worry, just look at your watch. At the end of the hour, he's going to win. We'll tell you any shit you want to hear. We deal in illusions, man. None of it is true. But you people sit there day after day, night after night, all ages, colors, creeds. We're all you know. You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spinning here. You're beginning to think that the tube is reality and that your own lives are unreal. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like a tube. You ate like a tube. You raise your children like a tube. You even think like a tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusion. So turn off your television sets. Turn them off now. Turn them off right now. Turn them off and leave them off. Turn them off right in the middle of the sentence I'm speaking to you now. Turn them off. Because what westernization does in the extreme sense, and by the extreme sense I mean the, the network of families that are behind westernization, that are behind the uh, gathering global con um, tyranny, they um, do not um, have a key human and consciousness trait that is um, essential to harmony, and that is empathy. Um, when you have empathy with the consequences for others of your actions or, or you have empathy with how they will feel, um, that immediately um, has an effect on your actions. Um, you won't harm a child, not least because you can empathize with the suffering of the child if you do certain things. The key thing I think for people to appreciate about those that are manipulating not just British society but global society and certainly Chinese society is that they are of a level of consciousness that does not have empathy. They do not have any emotional consequence by seeing the um, effect on others of their actions now. We just take a breath and think about that. That means there are no limits on these people for the actions that they will take.
Um, so you or me, the very thought of taking someone's organs in the way that you've described um, would um, just fill us with horror. But to the people doing it, it's matter of fact. It is of no emotional consequence to them. And I've said to people many times, if you um, see or, or judge what others will do on the basis of what you will do, then you've lost the plot because the people doing it do not have the same emotional state that the rest of us do, unfortunately. How much time we got? Yesterday, for further consultations with his government, he returned to the Vienna for his adventure in Vienna. Take two, Q Howard. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. Dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the streets. There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do and there's no end to it. We you know the air is unfit to breathe and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller and all we say is please at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel belt and radials and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest, I don't want you to ride, I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being, God damn it! My life has value! I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore! I want you to get up right now. Get up, go to your windows, open them and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore! Things have got to change! How many stations does this go out You've got to get mad! You've got to say, I know it goes to Louisville and Atlanta. I'm not going to take this anymore! Then we'll figure out what to do about the depression and the inflation and the oil crisis. But first, get up out of your chairs, open the window, stick your head out and yell and say, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore!